Hello everybody, 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 hello, good morning it is for me and welcome to a new day, a new dawn, a new opportunity and a new campaign. Can everybody guess what it is? Well, I think you can because the emblems, is, uh, you know, are right here and we've got some red colouring up here on the map that kind of reveals today's campaign beginning at Erebor for... This is what I promised in the Elven campaign at it came to a close. So, welcome to, uh, all, to all of you, returning new viewers all. I am thrilled to have you with us on this journey to make Erebor um, a terrifying geopolitical entity in Middle-earth. Now... Our quest must begin by acknowledging the fact that we have some pretty powerful neighbours to the west. We are tasked with liberating once dwarven strongholds along the mountain ridges of Middle-earth and this will of course bring us into direct conflict with the Snow Orcs residing at Mount Gundabad, but stretching their influence far and wide, as we can see here. They actually already control the Withered Heath, so I think by executive decision, I will say my first course of action is going to be to try and take that away from them. We have some good recruitment opportunities right out of the gate, and I think I'll have the, uh, you know what, Dale Cavalry. Dale Cavalry is going to be neat. Uh, we'll want that. And we're going to want some mines as well. Kirkathol, uh, I'll take a more relaxed attitude and go for a stone at Workers' Hall. But I'll want something to boost economically and something to kind of help speed along economic development in Kirkathol as well. Because it's a bit underdeveloped compared to Erebor. So... That's the penny pun uh, pushing out of the way. And now, Gimli, I want you on the warpath. I definitely do. You going up there. Dine with your unique bodyguard and infantry. Yes, yes, come along, come along. And you know what? Dawn laborers, too. And then, Gloin, you can take up residency in Erebor. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, King Dine. Marching now. Aye, sire. Here we go. Here we go. This force may not look like much, which is because it isn't, but mark my words, I believe these dwarves can do great things. Uh, maybe we could even, uh, yeah, we can probably recruit some Dale Cavalry next turn, which I am going to take advantage of. And um, then, oh yes, we have a diplomat. Where to send him? And uh, you know what, Thrandos Halls, that's a good, as good a place as any here at the doors. So how are you all doing? Ah. I'm sitting here trying to taste whether my tea has taken enough time. It's okay, but I think I'll... Uh, I think I actually want it to be a little stronger. And there we are. So, this game comes to you on a new machine. Yay! Pardon! Pero Melon Amino. Um, Amino? Hmm. I'm not really an expert in uh, the languages of Middle Earth, I have to admit. But yes, Kazadum has been reclaimed as per the auto resolve, which is always nice to see. We march to glory. I, my Ooh, okay. I don't think we can. We just can't make it. No! Ah, uh, okay. Okay. In that case... Okay. 
We're just going to take it to that. I, I'm not going to recruit the Deo Cavalry for this battle because it's going to be a uh, siege battle map, so Cavalry is not going to be that much useful uh, for anything but draining the economy. We will be able to hire them later on, though, and that's going to be nice, too. I know Mattox. Uh, let's get them going. We want them over at Erebor, actually. I think that's where they are going to be needed. Um, Lord Thorin. I suppose he could be good as well. You know what, let's send them along. And then we'll leave it in the capable hands of our Iron Hill Mattox. Oh, when they get here. Which will take a little while. Okay, well. Here's hoping that uh, this uh, little excursion of Thorin's doesn't backfire. Do 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 do. And so the tea is coming. And I hope that you too are enjoying something tasty with this. We had a bride bits presented to us. Um, along with a little tour, apparently. Hmm. Alright then. We are to make friends with the Woodland Realm. Long have the dwarves been at war with the forces of evil, fighting hordes of goblins from the Misty Mountains, the legions of Urugs from Gundabad, and the bane of Durin at Khazadum, and dragons in the Grey Mountains. Our ancient homes of Khazadum, Dain's Halls, and Erebor, and Gundabad were lost to our enemies. For centuries have these sacred halls... Scared halls? I think they're supposed to be sacred, though. Um, built by our ancestors, laid in ruins, pillaged and defiled by the enemy. No more, we say. The time has come for these grutches to be settled once and for all. It is an affront to anyone who calls himself a dwarf to wait any longer reclaiming these cities. And not since the days of Thrain the Second and War of Orcs and Dwarves has any Dwarven King had the courage to muster an army and march upon these cities. While we slew many Orcs and Goblins in the war, we failed to reclaim any of our ancient homes. Not until Thorin Oakenshield managed to reclaim Erebor in this quest has any ancient Dwarven city returned to Dwarven ownership. But we have waited long enough. Years have passed with elders grumbling about these expeditions that should have happened long ago. Balin, son of Fundin, has started an expedition to Khazad-dûm to reclaim the halls of his ancestors once more. He goes with the trust and help of the King of Erebor, King Dain Ironfist, who has taken it upon himself to rally the armies of Erebor and the Iron Hills to stand against the growing danger from the Easterlings and forces of Mordor. Yet his thoughts also wander toward Grey Mountains and Gundabad. March out, fellow dwarves. The time has come. The victory shall be ours. Baruch Gazad. Gazad Aymanu. At least that's what we're hoping for because we're, you know, knocking on their doors. We march to battle. We shall hold up the siege side. Let's just queue up what we can in one turn and uh, give him a good thwack. We have our cavalry. That's good to see. So Thorin can perhaps come with kind of a bit of a, a reinforcing army. Drawing from Erebor's mm, foundries. Though it must be said, uh, oh, can you get mines in Grammarbuld? I don't think you can, though. Because if you know, if possible, we want to expand to mineable locations. Because of course, mines are incredibly important to us. And here, a pipe hall to reduce corruption and allow us to get Matix into the picture. Yes. Uh, I isn't gonna. Uh, 
and Rohan are at war. This is not surprising at all. Oh yes, and we're to say hello to Thranduil. Hello, sir. Trade with us. Possibly a good day to you. Thank you. Yes, sir. I, sir. And then we can send Ruin out toward Beyond's Woods, I suppose. So we got some Northman archers. Wonderful. Always nice with a perky cup of tea. Thorin makes his way across the frozen landscape, erecting towers wherever he can. Eventually we will need someone to truly oversee Kirgatholdo. It feels naked, you know, not to have any unit or, um, or any governance there at all. Oh, the snow orcs are coming, but too late. For Nazanar shall be ours. And Stukrat sits there on his own. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, but the true battle seems to be just beginning because, of course, those damn orcs there just south of our position will undoubtedly try to make our life lives a living hell. But I think in this uh, case I don't want to put too much stock in our ladders. They're kind of a last resort for this one. Um, mainly we should just try to use the ram. Because all of these things are towers, aren't they? I'm not sure. No, they those are buildings. Okay. That actually could... Okay, so these are towers. Those are buildings. Okay. So that means these will shoot. And these will not. This is an important distinction. So, uh, Gimli. Why don't you take your axe throwing... Erebor axe guards. And, um... Get them over there. I think that's gonna be neat. Then we'll see. We'll see what the enemy does. Because we don't want these towers to shoot at us. And uh, it looks like they won't be. Where are those? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Yeah. Gimli, you've got... Uh, no, okay, you can't go there. What? Can't you scale that wall? You can scale that bit of wall. But not that one, and not that one, but that one. Ah, okay. Okay, but I'm going to bet that they're not going to be in range of those towers to activate them. And um, then we're going to knock down the gate as well for good measure. Because if we are to engage in melee, we shall engage them with all of our combined forces. But first of all, I will want to negate as much of that mountain guard unit as I can. Because if we just briefly have a look at them, 18 attack, 9 charge, 27 defense, these are not to be trifled with, particularly in melee combat, because they their defense skill is pretty darn significant. You know, compared to ours, we have a bit higher armor on the axe cart, for instance, but our defense skill is nowhere near theirs. Um, we're effective against armor, which helps us against their 13 armor stat, but still, it's uh, it's not, you know, we don't want Gimli to go up alone against these guys, because he will take on unwarranted losses. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Now, playing this game on this new computer, which I can now do, having um, an, a whole new setup going here, um, I am hoping that battles 
will be a bit smoother, end terms a bit quicker. All a lot of good things, basically, in terms of the the um, quality of life and smoothness of the viewing experience for you all out there, and for my own playing experience as well, of course. Um, that's uh, that's the idea, and I did a bit of testing on just some custom battles and stuff like that to kind of see how it would uh, fare with like say five thousand troops on a map and stuff like that, and it actually went really well. Even at time six, it just went smoothly, uh, and it uh, carried over into the recording as well. So I uh, am uh, happy to say that you know this might not be the very best that the world has to offer in terms of uh, raw computing power, what I've got here. But it's at least pretty good for our, for our purposes. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. And I'll experiment a bit with the graphical settings here in the beginning uh, to uh, see how uh, yeah how good graphics are my recording setup can realistically support. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm excited. Tee <laughs> Okay, so Gimli is moving into position, and now axes shall be thrown. Come on. Yes, that's how we like it. And we want to stop them from getting to the towers, though. So uh, let's run in. The enemy are badly bloodied. Oh, yes, Gimli. That's so good. Okay, nice. Um, now... You've kinda... Good, okay, yeah, they're going back in, it's fine. Nice. Okay, Gimli, get down there. And where are you coming out? Over there, maybe? Is that a... Okay, I don't even know. No, he's coming out over there, and then he'll go down through... Uh, this passageway. Okay. But I think the stage is set for a pretty lossless battle. Good news. Our men are in control of the castle. The battle is very much in our favor. If we We're going to and steadfast, victory will be ours. On hubbub. Many times over. Not even the mountain guard are un 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 hubbubble. Or maybe it's put it, putting it another way, this battle is now certifiably un hubbubble. For some reason, I like that that uh, phrase, un hubbubble. Good tidings. The enemy general lies me in all of the victory it, we then. have won here today. 20 lost. Wow. Who lost the most, though? Arab infantry. Oh, yeah, I see. I see that. Yeah, yeah. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. But it's, uh, it's of course, sad. But imagine if we had to uh, take slog them all down in melee, all 70 of them. I mean, that would have taken out almost an entire battalion of ours, which we are not interested in at all. Now what I'm I am interested in though is seeing whether the snow orcs will try to reclaim Onazanar or whether they will instead opt to um, strike back at Erebor. I mean either way we shall try to be ready because Thorin is coming in, so that's good news. Do we have we have some Dawn culture? We actually have enough to make use of it. We do need a pipe hole though. So we're gonna get that. Sharpish. My king. And Druden yes, can move along through the elven woods. You're not gonna stop. Your will, my lord. Because Thorin himself will get uh, yeah, he'll have these two. And then of course he can have these four. 
you know that that you know combine all that together and you have a pretty damn decent army that we can probably even uh, take to Dane's halls if we need to but uh, we'll see what Uthuk does because I don't want to specifically take him on in melee with either of m the two halves of our army so to speak uh, I want to um, either have them attack us which they seem reluctant to do or failing that I want to gang up on them basically I want to constantly fight them on my own terms You hold us a day to Yay! They took our thing. Kogathol gets a pipe hole and... Uh, okay. That is good. It reduces corruption. Um, hmm. Oh, we are losing money. So we can't afford to invest in stone workers uh, halls so we will need to go grain exchange on this one I think it's either that or it's farming it gives basically a flat 85 9 stuff large pick farm so yeah okay we're gonna go grain exchange oh Uthog is indeed coming to Erebor. Marching now. Making camp here, good son. Where we've just received more Northman archers. Have a taste of my blade. I mean, good luck to them I trying to take it. this place. It's actually pretty well defended, I would say. But my king, honor, my lord. My king. I sire. Hmm. Think. Let, let, let's uh, send Gimli out here. Build a tower. We want to see what's coming from the north. Dine. We can make it down here. Like that. Then we can build a tower here. It's good. We can keep tabs on Witterboard. But it looks like we will want to attack that. So Gimli's going to come back. He's going to pick up the forces and then he's going to go there. Um, and we'll see what Uthuk does. Axsmith Guild and the Northern Art. Uh, I'm gonna say no this once. I'm sure we're gonna get the offer again somehow. The snow orcs are coming. We must stand with courage, man. The enemy lays siege. Well, well, well. They fancy themselves strong enough to take us. Honor, my lord. I sire. My king. My king. Honor, my lord. You know what, let's send King Dine off. Um, it will be interesting to see when the Snow Orgs end up or if they end up declaring war in the woodland realm because usually they usually they do that would be a cool shift in this whole power dynamic we have going here i'm thinking that we should just take them on trying to as best we can use the defenses of this settlement to our advantage 
I mean, they are building siege equipment, but they'll be standing there for a good long while before they consider themselves ready. I just know it. And so, I am going to sally out. Well, sire, we shall engage. Glory, we attack! The lies that Melkor, the mighty and the cursed, Morgoth of Bauglia, the power of terror and of hate, sowed in the hearts of elves and men, are a seed that does not die and cannot be destroyed. But we're dwarves! Okay, I suppose we can also succumb to some pedantry every once in a while. Now, I will want to position... We don't have any towers to speak of at Erebor, but we have archers. Um, and if I remember right, we can... We can place our archers... There, yes, we can, yes. That's good. Uh, let's see how we can... Yeah, we can bunch them up a bit. It's good. Okay. We can widen it a little bit. I want to... Have as wide archer lines as possible. That's looking good. Okay. Axe Guard of Erebor. Oh gee, this, uh, I'm going to want a little bit more brightness on this battle map, I can tell you that. There we go. Um. Dale Cavalry. We should be able to use them. draw in the enemy. At least that is what I am hoping. Oh my goodness, Thorin is far away. I forgot how bloody big this battle map is. Um, yeah. So they're just coming in. They'll have to go all the way across here to get to help us. Oh, goodness. But ideally, I do want them over there. And our enemy has retreated to this position, which makes it annoyingly difficult to actually charge into, say, their archers. Which, ideally, is what we want to do. Hmm. But anyway, we're going to need our cavalry out there. And we are going to need our infantry, our main guys. We're going to need them there. I think that's good. Then Thorin. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you, yeah, you're gonna go and uh, kind of cover for the uh, for the axe guard. I think that's gonna be good. And the Mattox. You can come and come in and uh, walk up behind the others. Okay. So how far are you guys? Okay, you've made decent headway. That's good. That's good. But you're going to be so exhausted when, by the time you get there. Ah, oh, maybe I should uh, just have them walk from now on. So, how do the orcs react to this? Barely at all. We're going to need our cavalry over here on this side. It's pretty cool though. So we'll... Um, 
to be on this battle map where you can see both Erebor and Dale. And actually get the sense that you are here in this little universe. Of course, Dale should be slightly farther away, I guess. But overall, it's uh, it's really neat. It's really neat, and it's well done. Now, what I would want to do is just ask, where the blimmin' heck are the Dalian archers when we need them? And why are they just ignoring this? Are they just sitting this one out? I mean, of course I wouldn't blame them, but... Ah. Okay. Ah, uh, dwarves are very tired after that long march. Actually, they're probably going to need another five minutes just to get back to suitable levels, but we're actually losing a bit of the battle timer here. And also, I don't want this entire thing to be just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. But yeah, time is not on our side. They seem to be shoveling around though. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Although I don't think it will make much of a difference with what we had for what we had in mind. Oh well. You know what, Maddox? Yeah, you are gonna go away back there, and uh, Drone's Guard. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You are now kind of all in position. Although the Matics are deeply tired, but hey, aren't we all? Aren't we all? So, Snow Org Raiders, yeah, you need uh, to meet with Dalian Horsemen. Smash! That's actually really good. Good job, guys. Good job. You actually, uh, you actually, you pulled it off. That's cool. Yeah, we killed enough of them to uh, make them think that we were worth chasing down. And so the battle proper can begin. Can I please ask you guys to uh, pull in a proper line? Thank you. So, Dale, cavalry. Ah, being chased by the very raiders you charged into. The range on our archers isn't really good, is it? If they were, these were elves, they would be able to shoot them from here. But no, 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 no. Anyway. There's some uh, scouts forming up there at the back. And we'll need to charge them down. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to ignore these and just have them run around after us, tiring themselves out. If we can, that's absolutely a thing we want to do. Okay. It's decent guys, decent guys, but I've seen better. Alright. They're coming in. Snorlax spears. Spears. They're not going to be a match for you dwarves. Okay. Uh, cavalry, you're going to need to get out of there because you don't want to come into direct confrontation with these Snorlax raiders. But you're doing alright. You're doing alright, fellas. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will 16% of them already gone. Yes, this is pretty much what I wanted to happen. Good, 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 good. Okay. And the raiders are being shot by our archers. It's all just going about as well as it probably could. We can disrupt the raiders a bit with our cavalry. It's good. Good, that's good. The raiders are being shot. Okay, Axe Guard of Erebor. You're going to be needed. Rise up, men of Dale! And ride down the Snow Orc scouts here. If you can. 
Now, the annoying thing about charging into them is that they have a high defense skill, which, uh, you know, which is part of what helps them cushion against a charge like that. And of course, it doesn't help that w help us when our cavalry doesn't really charge as it should. Now, Axe Guard of Erebor. Um, Snork Scouts. Okay. And, um... Oh, you can't even shoot them from there. Okay, okay, okay. Cavalry, take a little bit of a breather. Good. Now we're kind of drawing the raiders in into firing range. It's good. It's good. It's good. So, uh, smash those raiders. Mattox, prepare to um, flank our enemies. Raiders still chasing us. Oh, that's glorious. I didn't think they would do that for so long, but I'm so happy they do. Basically taking them out of the fight. Which is amazing. Half the enemy force remains. Oh, 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 oh. Fleeing enemies. Now, this is the bread and butter of our Dale Cavalry. Good. Um, now we need to press their archers. You might be celebrating, lads, but there is still more work to be done. Maddox. And uh, Durin, or Thorin, you can just kind of lazily march on. Nice. Snog Spears, get him. Ooh, yes, good. We're kind of catching them in battle. Um, that's good. That's what we want to do. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. The raiders are still there. But you know what? Maybe we can draw them into our archer fire. That would be cool. So let's try to do that. Uh, the raiders, what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, they are coming. They are coming! Just where we want them. Just where we want them. Good. You may be tired, but you are so much better than those Snow Orc Scouts. So give them... Give them a nice... Pat on the back of the head, if you will. With whatever tools you have to hand. Oh yes, we have reduced the raiders by just shooting them. It's good. That's the weakness of uh, these snow orcs, which is why we will actually need some archers. Um. Hmm. Okay. Keep, keep chasing those scouts. We have set the car to hell. That's good. That's good. Ooh, that killed a lot of our cavalry, though. Damn it! <laughs> it's not that's that's not meant to happen. But another charge should seal the deal, Look and it does. Cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. 
This is a good victory. This is a good victory. Uh, I'm fine with this. This is a clear victory. Northman Archers, 120. Northman Archers, 124. A few of which were our own troops. Oh dear. Okay. But still, um, that just shows that if you give archers a good place from which to fire, then they'll do a really good job. Iron Hill Mattox also did well. Dale Cavalry, of course, stand out as cavalry often is. Durance Guard, dependable. And with that, our forces should be able to move out from Erebor and start truly bringing the pressure. A pressure under which the Snowhawks shall find no rest. And no, we don't want them as prisoners. They are slightly unhygienic for our purposes, I think. So shall we just take all of them, I guess? We're gonna go into the red, but we will anyway. So yes. That is what we must do. Build a tower over here. And then maybe Thorin should take over Anad Sanar. Because he'll be able to have free upkeep there due to the pipe wall. So that'll help a bit. And My they'll probably also do a Five. decent job overall just governing the place. So if we can get there next turn that would be amazing. Because then we can get Gimli down. And everything will just... Uh, yeah. It'll turn into a wonderful situation. Ooh, the mines are going to be ready. Which is going to help a little bit. Just, you know. Maybe not enough, but a little bit, certainly. Now we'll need to try to take fights where it really counts with the uh, with the snow orcs because yeah, and, and we need to be rather decisive about it. An honor, my lord. Oh, and he improves I the place really immediately. Good. But yeah, the Snow Orcs, they can recruit at a pace that we cannot match. And that is something we will feel very harshly should our battles start to turn ill. Okay, we're kinda in the black here. But it'll take us a long while to get anything. But I think trade in Erebor would be amazing. So we're going to get that as soon as we can. Ruin, why don't you go somewhere cool and offer our map for money? To try and give us a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a an economic leg up in this... Uh, in this troubled time. Yes, but now we have uh, we have no troops just sitting away wasting money in a in settlements. We're running a lean operation here with the dwarves. Um, not that it is always a good thing to do that, but yeah, th th this time I think it'll have to be. Because otherwise we're going to go into the negative very quickly. Zakuf. I don't think that should make us give us any pause in taking Villaboard. So we're just going to do that. A little bit more money just for the short term. It's going to be good. Gimli and Thora. Yeah. A little marriage there. Honor. Your will, sire. We shall engage. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we need. Oh, I forgot to build siege equipment. Okay. Well, 
We might be attacked with a board then. Suklash. That must be a starting general with uh, all the upgrades it has. Okay. Our kingdom is small, but it will grow and prosper. And the Snorks have not contested our actions. Ah, a little gift there. That's great, because it w guarantees us the ability to afford the grain exchange. And adding to that, we could get a pig farm here. Um, Snorks Hall, pig farm. Let's get a pig farm first, and then see if we can get a stone workers hall, and then we will need to start um, emphasizing, uh, you know, garrison quarters and the like. I'm gonna stick you. Now there are two oh. ways of going about this. Either we attack with a board and just try to uh, take one army at a time in doing so, or we leave back a token unit to. Uh, Besiege Villaboard and hold back their general while we take on these orcs out in the woods. But I don't feel like fighting in the woods, and if I can get it done in one battle, I would like to do that. You know, we don't want to draw it out needlessly. So, Zugraj, prepare to meet your end. I have one unit of archers, snow graders, snow spears. Let's see if we can uh, take on Zakuf and eliminate him and then just hound down Zugrash. But it depends, of course. If the game allows us, then we could also go for Zugrash first. Oh, yes, we don't even need. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? I might just storm in and get Zugrash over and done with. And then we can actually kind of defend this settlement, which um, would help us a little bit against archers, I guess. Maybe. Not sure. Depends on how close our enemy is. Okay, we're going to gather up our light infantry. And our heavy infantry. We have our archers, which w which could actually be a decent counter to their archers. I think that's how I'm gonna have to use them. Use them for sheer numbers. Maybe we could actually put them over here, but I'm not sure where the enemy is gonna be. But that's, that's what I'm gonna try. Um. I will want to use the Axe Guard of Erebor to smash that mountain guard. So that's what they're going to do. These are going to finish off. Sons of the Fallen, they can hold out. They can protect, uh, along with the Dale Cavalry, they can all protect the archers. So where are our enemies coming from? Oh, we have two sets of enemies. I must have missed that. Okay, so there's another speed over there. And here we have the proper army. Oh, if we had faced them on that hill. <laughs> oh, that would have been uh, glorious. But uh, they will come over here. That's fine. Okay. So seeing this, I'm just going to send the light infantry over to deal with that unit over there. I think it's a spear unit, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's not going to hold a candle to them. Um, <laughs> Axe Guard of Erebor. Gimli, you go over here. Others, go over here. Let's 
Let's move it, everybody. We have a little bit of a hill here, and I intend to use it. Yeah, those spearmen are going to arrive here long before the bigger army. And so, we're going to deal with them first. Maybe even using Dane, to be honest. Dane. Dane? King Dane. Gimli, if you would run a bit. I know dwarves are not natural sprinters, but... Oh, we're actually shooting at, uh, at these spears. That's fine, I guess. Ah, oh, but they're gonna make it in. No, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, anyway. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Taken control of the city. <laughs> Got them where we want them. That's good. Okay. Spears, scouts. We have lost control of the city. Ah, uh, worst things could have happened. Okay. And Dine has intercepted the Snowhawk spears. Great the success. They have lost half their men. Okay. Axe Guard of Erebon, just swarm those guys and take them out. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, what do we have here? Raiders against cavalry. Could have been worse, could have been worse, but I still don't want to see that. Okay. Archers. Hmm. You could just rest for now. It's gonna be okay. And here you're just taking them out. It's good. Good to see. Good tidings. Yes. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the car to hell. Yeah. Uh, or whatever the hell equivalent of Middle Earth is. The field. After them, cut the caverns down. Hello, Raiders. Oh, they're all fleeing into our forces. I think that's good enough. In awe of the victory we have won here today. Ooh, we did lose some, but overall, I think we did good. Again, Northman Archers proving that, you know, that their missile damage of, I think it's three, was just insane for the low tier they have. You know, it, it does them really well, uh, coupled with their numbers, particularly. Sons of the Fallen, 97. Axe Guard of Erebor. Yeah. I guess that plan worked. Maybe not exactly as I had uh, originally intended, but it worked well enough. This calls for another cup of celebratory tea. And no, you shall not be released.
Do 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 do. A proud victory. Well done, men. A noble victory. Noble victory indeed. And they've built mines, which I am very grateful for. Dine goes berserk. I am but an ally, Lord. Hello, Brago. What brings you in these lands? Hmm. Okay. But now our economy should start faring a lot, lot, lot better. So that's good to see. But I wonder what the best early doors purchase here is. Market, then master stone workers all. That's what I'm gonna say. Now, I'm tempted to draw, just try to keep up the momentum and attack straight out and take Dain's Halls. Oh, we can get money for talking to Lorien. This is great news, of course, sir. but it'll have to wait another turn. Oh, he's utterly indiscreet. Oh, bloody hell. Can't keep his tongue or hold his tongue. Uh. I think a pipe hole would be good here. We'll get that. And then we'll get a town guard, I guess. I, my liege. Have a taste of my blade. Now I'm thinking of just leaving behind. I can't uh, get Iron Hill Matics here, can I? No. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Then that's what I'm going to do, because I'm going to merge these two. And if I can just leave back 42 of those on low tax rate. That's great. We don't have enough money for watchtowers, but uh, if we can take Dine's Halls, or Dane's Halls, then, then we're in business. Then we're really in business. Taking that before like the fifteenth turn or something like that. That's uh, that'll be really good. Good for us. Although I'm of course not sure we'll be able to do it, but we are absolutely gonna try. Because so far, fighting the Snow Orcs has been a pretty simple matter. I, noble son. My king. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. Build a tower. Oh, we can't see. Uh, okay. Tars. Rakiaberg. Ooh, there must be a good general in there. Let's just send them running. I don't want to fight that. For such low gains. Knack-clack. Conqueror of Dane's Halls. Well, 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 well. Have I got news for you? Hmm. 
<laughs> you have a proposition for us? I do. I want to say hello with some map info. After some consideration, we accept. Thank you, Caliborn. Farewell then. Mm. And that should see enough money for our future construction projects. And maybe also a bit of uh, recruitment. Stoneworkers Hall, Stoneworkers Hall, and Pipe Hall. Great, grand, and glorious. I think we can relax the taxes here in Kirkathol. We'll just set everything to normal. Normal is going to be fine. Um... But now they come swarming with the units that seem oddly depleted. All right. I think I'm going to try to just go for it. They're going to have a lot of troops in there. Uh, they'll get like five or six defenders. So it's going to be a hell of a battle. But let's see if we can do it. Otherwise, we'll just say bollocks to it and then skirmish our way through these pitiable forces. Pitiable forces, indeed. Yeah. Okay, it looks like they're just going to go raiding. Rather than anything else. Which leads me to send the Gloin to Vitherborg. Ah, but he probably won't get there in time. But Thorin could feasibly. Oh, oh, oh. But he'll need another turn to get there. Uh, two turns. But, we do seem to have... Oh my goodness. Okay, they get three units of Orc Defenders. I think we can deal with three. Six would have been an issue, but I think three we can do. And we don't see any... You know, any issue from Captain Gum. So let's do it. And what a fitting edit end to the first episode that would be to take Dine's halls and set it free of all the orcish scum and villainy. Now, mm, it is rare for the AI to actually use this battle map well, so a lot depends on that, shall we say. But let's gather up our forces into regiments making sense. I think that's going to be just fine. Dale Cavalry might actually be useful just due to the sheer 
size of the place we're about to attack. But yeah, first step is just to get everyone up there. Oh goodness, the sometimes the battle maps here can be buggy, or the camera can be kind of screwy. Um, let's just get everyone up there. Okay, and then we go in here, and we see... Okay, they have taken up classic AI positions. I'm not even sure what to call this. A Y formation, I guess. Oh well. We're going to speed up the time because we're going to be walking for a while all the way from down here to all the way up here. I mean, that in itself is like a quarter of the distance of the entire map. But it looks cool, this place. I think, um, I think it's a really neat design job, but especially just this whole front end of it, which is where all the attention has gone, which is also cool because that's where most of your attention will go when you fight here. At least when you defend it, which most people I suppose will. And which we are likely to do as well. And it has these towers out here on the ends. I mean, it's just a really well thought out battle map, I think. So kudos. Kudos for that. And it has these Dwarven statues with their hammers. It has a cool looking gate. Yeah, it's just all lovely. Of course, g gates in med in uh, med two have to be one certain size and nothing else. You know, you can't actually make a gate at the size that they're kind of indicating this gate to have, which is which would also be be nonsensically big. I mean, why would you want to make a gate w through which a dragon could feasibly fly? I mean, what would be the pur purpose of that? That's just inviting trouble for the dwarves in this region. But, but, that said, that said, um, it does look neat. Our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Come on, archers, get up here. You're gonna be needed. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Finally. Okay. And how do they respond? With complete and utter inaction. Um, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna march. In Our two. soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's war. Oh, and they come at us. Now. Okay, run, please. With orc hunters. Okay, yeah, we can take those down. Go on. And the archers run away. Ah, oh, because they're on skirmish mode. Okay. Actually, I'm fine with you uh, slogging it out for a little bit while our melee units kind of get in there. It's very good. Very good. Yes, we've routed them. We lost a few archers, but it's not the biggest loss in the world, is it? Okay, we're gonna go like that. Um, actually, we're gonna go like this, and boom. So! Let's see what we have to contend with. A 
Let's shoot at the defenders. And uh, cavalry, you just get in as well, I guess. Okay. Um... Axe guards, you'll need to bear that pain for a little bit. I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe maybe sneak in a cavalry charge to take out those orc hunters. And in the meantime, you dispatch your axes upon the mountain guard. Very good, very good, very good. Because the name of the game here is to minimize losses. Everyone, minimizing losses. Oh dear. Okay, they did react to the cavalry. Okay, we're just gonna ride them out. That's gonna make them uh, targets for our axes, though. Hee hee hee. Keep throwing your axes, folks. I'm gonna say that your lives actually do depend on it, so please do. That's good. We've kind of negated the threat of their mountain guard quite substantially. Orc defenders coming in. Smash them with axes. Sons of the Fallen, move on. Is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, the raiders are trying to get to the cavalry. Hmm. Okay. Cavalry, just run out, please. There's no reason for you to just die. Now is the time! Why is defeat almost a certainty for you guys? Hello, boy, infantry. Get on it. Thank you. The tide is turning. Dine. Do a similar thing, please. Now, you archers over there, shoot at the very back where the orc defenders are plentiful. We need to disrupt their formation, and that's what shield walls are for. That's what shield walls are for. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mattox, push a little bit on the flanks. Push them. Push them back. Where do we have Gimli himself? Oh, there he is. I guess he's doing fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let him stay there. It's fine, 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 fine. Oh, but dying is actually uh, living on the edge, shall we say. Um, yeah. We need him not to die, please. Dale Cavalry, you can also help in this quest. Aerobo Infantry.
You need to just move through these guys. Yes, it's about time. There you go. That's what we want to see. Okay. Northman Archers. Do your thing. Well, your thing has been done, but uh, do your secondary thing, which is um, uh, pad out our lines, please. And here comes the cavalry. The enemy general lies dead. Yes, that's good. It's very good indeed. You guys are done. Good. Move in. Cavalry, ca ca come on. Thank you. Because I want at least one rear charge out of you today. Good. Go. Go for it. Yes. And we cut them down where they stand. And everyone's just going to gang up on these enemies. And we'll have taken it with... Yeah, pretty... Um, pretty low losses, all told. Axe Guard of Erebor, 263. Gimli proving his mettle. Sons of the Fallen, Northman Archers. It's good to see everyone participating. Except these Dwarven Laborers. Not sure what they were doing. Hanging at the back, I assume. Up with your beard, Duran's son, he said. For thus is it spoken. Oft hope is born when all is forlorn. And so we come to the end of today's glory episode with the conquest of Dane's Halls. We have lands and glory indeed, and we have culture here. Very, very nice. Oh, and we have mines as well. Brawler's Hall, goodbye. Don't need that. We have garrison quarters. I mean, we can... Oh, this is a lovely thing to see. And we can just uh, start prioritizing. We could get some Dwarven Axe Throwers, because they are pretty decent. Um, oh yes, this helps our economy a lot. Partially from just uh, taking some of all these troops and making them free upkeep. That helps. That helps quite a bit. Um, we can't get catapults before the barracks event in this version. Um, so I'm just tempted to actually go building line and get Stoneworkers Hall to s sort of... No, we're going to get an, an, uh, a practice range first and then a Stoneworkers Hall. We're going to focus Thane's Halls to be a bit militaristic. Ooh! And the upper veils are still held. By, uh... By the Bjornings. This is very good to see. They have lost territory. But we have gained territory. Do do, do do, and uh, next turn it will show do do. Which is excellent. Um, how are we doing? How does it think we're doing overall? Financial ranking. Taking a hit, as everyone does in the beginning when spending big, uh, takes off, but our economy is uh, rebounding a bit. Our population is growing, slowly but steadily. Overall ranking, 
climbing again after the initial spend. That's typically where, you know, once your money drops, that's a f that does factor into the overall ranking. So, yeah. That's why you see those dips in overall power in the beginning when you might otherwise think, hey, what, wasn't I doing better than this? But, uh, yeah. It's just a point scoring system. But anyway, be that as it may. I hope you'll have a lovely day. I certainly have. Because Dane's Halls have has just come our way. So, this marks the beginning of the Erebor campaign. First of all, we shall rid the north of the Orcs. And I assume by th um, then we will also come into contact with... And conflict, it must be said. Um, with... Well, the men of the north as well, Angmar. And it would be cool to take Angmar, so we probably will. And um, from then on, we'll also have to, uh, by, while doing that, we'll also have to kind of spread our influence from Kirikathol down south of the Iron Hills. Even though Dale is probably going to beat us to the punch on a lot of these plain la plains over here. But. That's okay, I guess. If we can get some of the uh, mining, mineable regions over here, that would be really cool. But uh, overall, that's just uh, what it's going to be. I'm going to focus on the mineable regions, to be honest. And if Dale has more with which to resist foes such as Rune, well, I won't be sad either. So, I am going to focus on the Snow Orcs, first and foremost. And hold them over a barrel, basically. Um. Oh, hello. Captain Gash with a lot of archers, it seems. Humgrat. I'm not going to risk sending him in there because they'll just surround him and we might actually lose Gimli. So I'm going to send him back to Dane's Halls. If, even if he loses a battle, he'll probably uh, manage to just get fi back to Dane's Halls just fine. And that's then where I'm going to end it for this once. So, uh, yeah, have a lovely day out there. Once again, Captain Turtle Waffle considerably out. <laughs>